So we need a string variable called text that will hold what we want the text to display, a vector two, and then we need to add the using XNA that framework, and that's position. Now we need a public vector two position. Now we'll get and set get we return lowercase position set we set the lowercase position is equal to value. Now we need three color objects and we need to click the rectangle and add the using Microsoft XNA framework graphics. We'll have three objects, A color, B color, and S color. Now we need bool method for active. This will hold if our many entry is active, which means if it's going to be yellow or not. Now we need a public bool active for that. Capital A for this one. This is a property, so we need to get and set the activity of our text. Get return lowercase active set lowercase active is equal to value. Now we need the constructor. Public text and we're going to pass the string text vector2 position. Okay. Now inside we need to set up our text object appropriately. So we need to use this dot text this dot position is equal to position. And if you're not familiar with why we need to do this, it's because if we just say text, it refers to this text and we need to say this dot text to identify we mean this text. So that's why we use this if you're not familiar with that part of C-sharp. Okay, so now we move on to the colors. This dot S color is equal to color dot yellow. Now we need to set both A color and B color to black. We can do this in all one line. This dot B color is equal to this dot a color is equal to color dot black. And this will set it as both. Now we need the update and draw. Update takes no parameters. Void. And I'm going to add a comment here. Update the text. activation and color. Now public void draw and we pass it a sprite batch. Draw the string. Okay. So that's our text class. Uh, that's it for this tutorial. Next tutorial we'll modify the menu screen. We'll add all of our text in the constructor. Then we'll add a sprite font variable. And then we'll add drawing capability to the text class. So by this time next tutorial you will see output finally. So I hope to see you next time.